The Two Goddesses It was clear that Saraswati, the goddess of learning, was always present in Gansham's house. Gansham couldn't get enough of books, and he loved words even before he learned to speak them properly. It was as if Gansham had two mothers, Bhakti Mata and Saraswati. In the evenings, when his mother rocked him in the cradle and sang her gentle lullabies, Gansham would sing along with her, making sounds like ah, oh, and e. She would also sing him children's songs while she was bathing him, and at such times he would clap his hands with glee and splash the surface of the water as if he understood every word. And when Bhakti Mata did her arti or worship, singing her devotional songs, Gansham would also join in the singing. Not only singing, but the written word also had always fascinated Gansham. Whenever his father would read from a book, Gansham would be in his lap, pointing out the words. And when Dharma Dev was writing, Gansham. Would catch hold of his pen. Writing for him was like a wonderful game. So, no one could doubt that Goddess Saraswati was always watching over him. The mother goddess, Lakshmi, was jealous of this. She also wanted to be near the divine child and shower him with her love. But she could not get near him because Saraswati was always with him. So she made a plan. She asked her friend to take the form of a sparrow, and to go to the veranda of Gansham's house and call him to play. When he comes, I will also appear, she said. So Lakshmi's friend. Turned herself into a sparrow and flew to Gansham's veranda. Bhakti Mata was preparing vegetables there, and Gansham was crawling nearby. The little sparrow came to the edge of the veranda and began chirping loudly. Cheep, 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 cheep. Gansham lifted his head, and delighted at the little bird, he crawled over to it. Sitting in front of the sparrow, he also tried to chirp like it. Then he stretched out his arms to pick up the bird. At that moment, Bhakti Mata looked up from her vegetables. She was frightened that the sparrow would peck her little child. She immediately picked up a cloth and threw it over the sparrow. Gansham burst into tears. He loved the little sparrow so much. Just then, the little sparrow changed back into a beautiful woman. I am Goddess Lakshmi's friend, she said. She wants to come and give your son her blessings. At that very moment, the Goddess Lakshmi appeared at her side. Bhakti Mata was stunned to see. The two beautiful beings in front of her. Lakshmi then stepped forward, bowed before Gansham, and then gently picked him up in her arms. My little lord, she said, why do you always keep yourself only with Saraswati? Why don't you give me a chance to serve you also? The baby Gansham. Looked gently up at her and spoke with his eyes. Mother, why are you jealous? In my life on this earth, I will surely have need of both of you. There will come a time when I need you very much, and then your wish shall be fulfilled. Lakshmi was overjoyed. And handing Gansham back to Bhakti Mata, she showered her blessings on him.